Hi guys. It is a spectacularly gorgeous, over the top, beautiful Monday morning in uh and uh, this is the last time I'm going to say this. Uh, it is a gorgeous Monday morning. That would be 420, April 20th, 2020, in the Orwellian police state lockdown of Garfield, Texas. And I am Sam Mitchell, and this is my little co-pilot, Sancho Panza. And I'm sure most of you will be thrilled to hear this. This is the last edition of the Corona Panic Chronicles. I'm, I'm done with it, people. Uh, you, you know, it, 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 I, I'm in a very interesting position uh, here as being the chronicler of the collapse of everything, uh, of the global industrial economy, a, more importantly, the global industrial civilization, and most importantly, chronicling the collapse of a planet, meaning a living planet and our fellow earthlings. And I, I'm just uh, I, I'm just raising the white flag. Uh, I have I, I've, I've, I've had enough of this pointless debate. This uh, that this debate is absolutely pointless. I just posted, if you haven't heard it, that essay written by that person with that great Italian name. Uh, over there on Cassandra's legacy, I, what was that person's name anyway? Just, just nailed it. What this, what this is, guys. You, you, you guys know my position by now. At least a few of you who have not canceled your subscriptions, the damage this this uh, pointless debate is having to this channel is simply not worth it. Okay, I have made my position clear. Uh, all of the panicked sheeple, that's the last time you'll hear this, have made their position clear. There is not one thing that I am going to say to make one panicked sheep in this country stop being a panicked sheep. There, uh, there is not one thing that a panicked sheep is going to go, bah, bah, bah to me to make me change my mind. Okay, I, I, I am just so sick and tired of all of this crap, like this Huff Post article I just read about how the only people uh, calling the cure for the coronavirus worse than the disease, I call the coronavirus, I'm going to say this one more time, compared to everything else that I talk about on this channel and have been, the coronavirus is a bad hair day. Uh, I am also going to say the, re the Orwellian police state response to it is uh, swatting a mosquito with a sledgehammer. Okay, I despise Donald Trump and Jair Bozo Nero. They are the two most despicable human beings on this planet. The vast majority of people that agree with me that the uh, that the we're swatting a mosquito with a sledgehammer despise Donald Trump. A anybody who claims that anybody who has reviewed the evidence and has come up with the conclusion that the economic, the Orwellian police state economic response to the coronavirus, to the corona panic, excuse me, is worse than any threat caused to a few sick old people, uh, it, it, it is a right-wing Alex Jones boot-licking conspiracy theorist I, I'm, I'm sick and tired of hearing it. Uh, the, the, as I say, the most, the, the majority of people I know despise Alex Jones, David Icke, Donald Trump, Bozo Nero. It has nothing to do with anyone's political orientations. Uh, I, I have researched the evidence from my point of view as a as a journalist. 
the and the evidence after listening to all sides is that uh, certainly uh, the toll to the economy uh, and therefore to humanity is going to be a hell of a lot worse uh, with these Orwellian police state lockdowns. Uh, but more importantly, uh, what I am more concerned about is our fellow earthlings. And uh, I, have, I have, I don't know how many of these uh, videos I have done. I did a whole video from Manga Bay on Friday, example after 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 example. Do you get it that uh, the, the Orwellian response, the, the lockdowns, uh, are going to cause more death and destruction to our fellow earthlings uh, than if we just let this thing burn, baby burn, do what pandemics do, uh, weed out a few humans, uh, but the bottom line is, guys, as they were pointing out in that, that excellent essay I just read in that other um, video, that it makes no difference which side you want to choose on this. This divide and conquer, which of course is one of the great Orwellian police states right out of the playbook, divide and conquer the clueless sheeple, get them fighting among themselves. That is exactly what they want us doing. So I'm not going to play into that game anymore. I've stated my opinion. Uh, my opinions is as valid as your opinion. Uh, we all have an opinion and we all have a you know what and they're about equal to each other. Uh, don't get me going with swatting another honeybee. Uh, the bottom line is it makes no difference whether we stay in this jackboot uh, Orwellian uh, police state lockdown or whether we, what did uh, supposedly my hero, what did he say, liberate, <laughs> liberate. Uh, it makes no difference. A hell of a lot of people are going to die. I have never in my entire life denied that a shitload of people are going to die from the coronavirus. Okay, uh, it, it makes no difference which way we go. A lot of people are going to die from the coronavirus. It makes no difference which tack we choose, and this is more important to me, a hell of a lot of our fellow earthlings are going to die. Uh, either way we go, this is just the latest frying pan versus the fire predicament that we're in. The, the uh, corona panic is an absolutely glorious uh, example as this essayist whose name I can't remember was pointing out. An absolutely glorious example that this is just the latest in, in a growing list uh, uh, of predicaments we are finding ourselves in where there is no way out. There is no good choice. There is no right choice. Any choice we make is the wrong choice and is a bad choice. The absolute best we can hope for as humans and as earthlings as that, as they, we make the least evil of of the, uh, of the choices, we are screwed. This this is one more example of frying pan versus the fire. Uh, I, I'm going to say the fire of the uh, the fire of the Orwellian police state economic uh, lockdowns is worse than the frying pan uh, of the lockdowns. Uh, we're screwed people and we need to get used to it and the takeaway from this 
is uh, from 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 all of this crap uh, is, is that there's going to be a hell of a lot more of these coming down the line, and uh, people will understand uh, the history books. Shall any history books ever be written in the future that the corona panic uh, in the larger scheme of things in the 21st century was a bad hair day? We have a hell of a lot uh, bigger things to be talking about as a species, and that is the collapse of a planet. So I am going to return to... Uh, my regularly scheduled programming of Collapse Chronicles. Now, the only asterisk is in my interviews that I'm going to be having, posting every Sunday, obviously, since the corona panic is the only story on the planet, I am going to be rubbing up against the corona panic in my interviews with people. Uh, but I am no longer going to share news stories uh, about uh, scientific studies from, um, from universities such as the one from Stanford showing uh, how these death rates are outlandishly overrated. There's a brand new one coming out of some university in Massachusetts showing the same thing. Uh, I, I, you, you can go on there, you can go on the mainstream media or the alternative media, it makes no difference. You can, you can find anybody out there, uh, you can find all the people you need to confirm your bias. If you want some confirmation, some bias confirmation, it's all over the place. So I, I am sick and tired of this pointless, uh, this absolutely pointless frying pan versus the fire debate. We need to get back on track here at Collapse Chronicles and, uh, and, and, and talk about what really is important uh, on this planet, and that is the collapse of the planet. And we will resume our regularly scheduled programming tomorrow with that because I am thrilled to say I just got into contract on this house. Here we go again, and I am dedicating my life to closing this contract so I can get my very last piece of the global industrial economic pie before it all goes to hell in a handbasket. I'm going to get my little piece of the pie and run like hell. Anyway, it's been fun for any of you people with brains who, uh, who do agree with my opinion. I really do appreciate uh, the support to all the rest of you uh, panic sheeple, I still love you. Uh, you will uh, eventually understand uh, that I was right. Uh, but anyway, I'm not going to hold my breath for that. But I still love you. And let's get back to finding some common ground about all the ways we and this planet are screwed uh, with or without any help from the corona panic. Is that a deal? Truce. Bye, guys.